unbelievably wonderful, and we can't break yeah. them enough. That's, that's so true. So very true. Yeah. Oh. So now that we've done Eileen, we can probably go ahead and announce who we have for tomorrow. If anybody you hasn't know, seen, <laughs> I think I know. Wait before you say anything. I just want to kind of preface this by saying, if you have not been on Twitter today, or you haven't seen any of the tweets that have gone out. Um, let me just say, before Pam announces, we have a guest tomorrow night that is is just we're both excited about having, but um, I think there's going to be a lot of fans out there that are going to be excited even more so. What do you think, Pam? Oh, I think so. Oh, I mean, I, I, know, I know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of excited people. Um, there's many groups that I used to belong to on Facebook, so I know exactly how they feel about this actor. <laughs> so we might well, as well go ahead and just announce it. Well, just um, spill it, Bea. Just spill it. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, we have Vincent Irizarry joining us. And he was on All My Children as Dr. David Hayward. Oh, my gosh. Loved him. He was on Guiding Light as Lou Jack. For the Guiding Light fans out there, I have to throw in my two cents worth. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> and for both of us, um, he was on Young and the Restless as David Chow. Yes, that's very true for both of us, indeed. So he was. Yeah. And uh, and but where I got to got to know him was when he came to to Got in Light as Lee Jack, and that whole storyline with he and Beth developed. You know, it was always Beth and Philip. Beth and Philip. So it was so nice for the writers to kind of, you know, have a new angle to um, Beth and a new dynamic and bringing him in. And and um, I actually really grew to like him. I, I you know. So um, it's something. Now, on Guiding Light, was he a good guy or was he a bad guy? Well, I'll tell you. By comparison, he was kind of like, uh, you know, he had kind of that good guy, bad guy. You know, he he was kind of rough around the edges, but he had a sense of his size. So he was. I don't know that you would go as far to say that he was, you know, an Adam from Y and R, where you just love to hate him. But he he had a really good side with the best of intentions, the best that I can remember. But he had a side about him too. He would kind of do some things underhanded. So I don't think he he stood to the level of um, David Chow and David Hayward. But um, certainly he was just getting started back then. In terms of he was a lot younger, so he probably had <laughs> he, yeah. he probably had to learn the ropes of being evil, you know, along the way. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he was great on that show. He was great. So. Love well, it. Enrique is saying that also um, he played Nick McHenry on Santa Barbara. So, Enrique, uh, you'll need to oh, call in right. tomorrow to talk about yeah. that. So, if, yeah, so, if, you know, really we're hitting on a lot of soaps here. So we have All My Children fans, uh, Y&R fans, Guiding Light fans, Santa Barbara fans, call, 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 because uh, it, we, yeah. we will be on with us and, um, you know, it would be nice. Uh, to get a lot of the different fan bases out here for the different soaps. So, yeah, I mean, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, and he played in a lot of primetime, too. So um, I know that I have a couple favorite movies with him, and um, I'm looking forward to speaking with him. I'll probably be a nervous wreck, <laughs> but uh, I no, will definitely, definitely get some words out, so I won't leave you hanging, Dawn. You would only be a nervous wreck if you had to look at him while you were interviewing him. I think I would probably know. He is probably one of the finest men in daytime. So, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, my. But, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) well, I did did have that mouth hanging open moment when I saw him and Walt Wiley in the um, uh, play recently. I think it was in April, and it was Harvey. And uh, he played the doctor in there. And let me tell you, after the the play was over and we stood by the stage waiting to see if we could get anybody's autograph and or talk to him, and and he said, you know, he saw me in the crowd and he's like, oh, hey, Pam, glad you could make it. And I was like, who, me? <laughs> You're talking to me? <laughs> yeah. I kind of looked around and, and Shannon, my girlfriend, says to me, he's talking to you, he's talking to you. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> now what do I say? <laughs> well, see, you, he he said your name. He spoke to you, and it was to you directly. You've already broke the ice. So tomorrow night will be a cinch. Just oh, my that. gosh. It was something else. It, it's a, I'll tell you, a moment I'll never forget in my life. 
because when oh, yeah. you love so much somebody so much as an actor, you know, and you've watched them for so many years like that, and then you actually get to meet them, mm-hmm. it's it's just it's surreal. I mean, it's hard to explain even after it's over with and you walk away from it and you think about it for days. Like, did this really happen? When I went to the Loving Land View recently and met Tuck Watkins and um, Trevor St. John, I'm, I mean, I just stood there in awe, you know, mm-hmm. um, because I love both of them as actors. They're phenomenal. Of course, it was great meeting all the women that were there, too. The actors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's something you know, different when you kind of have that TV crush on a guy, you know. Well, that's true, and, and anyone who's been a diehard fan of daytime for pretty much all their life, like we have, you're going to have those day, daytime crushes. You're, there's no way to get around it. I mean, I've had mm-hmm. kind of one or two or more of myself throughout my life, so, you know, I know. Um, but that's the thing. I mean, the thing with Vincent that I've always liked about his acting style is that no matter what role he played in, he's so believable. I mean, you know, right. and... But right. you know, just like so many of the daytime actors, you know, because when you when you see them, and you and I have been joking about this, but um, it's or when you know when we have them on the show here, it it would be so easy to just call them by their character name because when you yeah. know when you're talking about the soaps with your friends, um, you know, you're referring to the character names and storylines, and you know, and it it's sometimes it it can be um, you know we kind of get lost in the mix of between you know, fantasy and reality, and so, but he has always been so believable as an actor, and um, and that's why he's always been so, so good in the roles that he's played. Um, I have to correct myself here, too. Enrique was saying he played Scott Clark on Santa Barbara and Nick McHenry on Guiding Lights. That's right. Um, he when he had put that. those two together, like, one after the other, I thought he meant that's what he played on, on Santa Barbara, so, yeah, that's, but, yeah. That's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Now that you know, that's going back in the the way recesses of my mind. Believe me, folks. So yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. Now that was a great. That would be a great trivia question because um, I had actually forgotten about that. That you know. Um, so gosh, thanks to you guys for putting that. Thank goodness we have a chat room, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll go ahead since we tweeted it out too and and announced who we're going to have on Wednesday. Can I tell? Um, can I tell? No, I'm just yes, kidding. you can. Yes, you I'm can. Totally Go ahead. Be my guest. A hard time. Oh well, no, I'm just picking at you because um, we're having a lot of fun here, and it is fun, and the show is just already off to such a great start. So kudos to you again, Pam. Uh, but we were fortunate enough today. First of all, I guess I should ask: Do we have any Twilight fans out there? Any diehard Twilight fans? Because if um, and if you are, are you planning to go see the latest installment of the Twilight Saga? Uh, Breaking Down Part 2, which opens on Friday. Um, If so, we were fortunate enough today to secure Lisa Howard, who is playing the role of, okay, how do you say the character name? Siobhan. 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 Siobhan? Okay, Siobhan. She's going to be playing the role of Siobhan in the upcoming Twilight Saga, Breaking Down Part 2. She will be on our show Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here, and um, we'll get to talk to her about, um, you know, her role in the, the latest installment, but she also um, has appeared in, she appeared in Ugly Betty, the television series, oh, and she has been all cool. over Broadway, so, um, mm-hmm. and she she also is an accomplished singer, has an album out, so um, it's going to be quite a good interview, very interesting interview, so if any of you Twilight fans out there who love the movie series, then you know, please, please call in and uh, and get in line. We'll be glad to take your calls and and uh, and who knows, she might give us some uh, real good hints about what we can expect with the latest installment. So it should be a great interview. Yeah, and I believe she's at a premiere tonight, is what her publicist told me. So ah. that should be pretty neat, you know. After doing that and then coming on the show and maybe be able to talk about it, so that would be pretty neat. Yeah, and and just a few more upcoming dates. I mean, Pam is just in her premiere week. We wanted to say premiere week because I think we've got every day booked except for what Friday. I think yeah, Friday. <laughs> well, it seems like, but um, but you know, in this first week, those are you know that's who's upcoming. And then on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, we have Jodie Thompson, who um, is best known for her regularly recurring role in as Devin Moore on the USA Network um, series The 4400. 
Um, and she's also been in the Blade, the series Terminal City, Flash Gordon, Gordon and Cold Squad. So it's going to be neat to talk to her because she's done a lot of stuff. She's got quite the resume as well. Um, so that's Thursday night at 7 p.m. And then Saturday evening, if um, we have any, uh, how do we put this, psychic, medium, spiritual fans out there who love, um, you know, connecting, <laughs> so to speak, we have we will have a spirit, a spirit medium psychic on our show Saturday night at 5 p.m. Her name is Mary Garrett. So um, it's going to be an exciting week. We've got a lot to come and a lot more to come as time unfolds. And, uh, and you know, and as I said the other day, keep checking our website, um, take to the number two radio.com. We have, you know, who we have coming on the site. We are constantly updating. It seems like it's changing by the, the day. <laughs> so so just, um, you know, keep checking there. Keep looking uh, for the tweets. You can follow us if you aren't currently following us on Twitter at take to radio, the number two um, and, uh, and between the site and Twitter, you should be able to, you know, keep up with us and everything that we know as we know it. So, um, but yeah, the next couple of nights are going to be pretty exciting here on the show. We've got some great people lined up. I'm telling you, I just, uh, coming out of the gate like this is like <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone out there who has been an advocate of yours for a long time that would have been surprised by this. You are a true professional and a class act, so it, it only seems well, reasonable. Well, of course, I have to thank you, too, for all the help that you give me. I don't do this by myself, so. Well, you've got all the inside know. I just do all the, the behind-the-scenes, you know, like um, do your website and stuff, you know. So. Oh, and, and yeah, don't act <laughs> and like it's minuscule either. Together, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, I love it, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. And, and we cannot forget Jay. Now, Jay is not on tonight uh-huh. because he is out in California. He's three hours behind me, two hours behind Pam. So technically, when we go live at 7 p.m. Eastern, he's still at work. Poor guy is still working, yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't even know that he can catch our show until he gets off, you know, gets off work and has to listen to playback. So but he's most likely we'll be doing the majority of Saturday night. Um, we might be flipping, you know, switching off um, on Saturday, Sunday night, depending upon what we have going on. But, um, but that's when you'll hear Jay mainly is um, is on Saturday evening. So, but he also has another show um, with a couple co-hosts and called the Final Word that airs on. Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. So here on the right. talk. So and don't forget, Jam and Jukebox, too, which is <laughs> oh, on the show. And oh, if you love music, and if you love music, Indies, oh my God, she's got some really great bands and singers on there. So check it out. Now, her show varies on day to day and time to time as well. Um, so you can follow her at Jam and Jukebox and, you know, check it out and see when she's got a show and listen to the music. And then she does some interviews, too. Yeah, and now, you know, I hosting with you and hosting my own show. I'm I'm staying pretty busy. Now, if I could just figure out how to do this for a living, I'd be doing great. <laughs> I know, you and me both, right? <laughs> really? I know. It'd be great. But, you know, and ironically, I do have a show on Wednesday night, but my show is at 7 p.m. Eastern, right before our show uh, with Lisa. So, um, you'll be hearing me probably more than you want to on Wednesday night. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but our show this week on Wednesday, um, the show I have, is uh, with a, um, rec- a country recording artist. Her name is Carla Jo Carr, and uh, she's got some great music, and she's also got a brand-new Christmas um, album out. So now that we're as, on our show, my show, now that we're in the holiday season, I'm trying to start adding in some of that music. And um, for those of you who get in the holiday spirit early, um, be sure and tune in. We'll be still doing our indie artist showcase on Saturday night. But um, we're not here to talk about my show. We're here to talk about your show. This is your show. But thank you for the shameless plug, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. No, oh, I know. You're so silly. <laughs> but I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap it up because we um, have did the other interview. We've told you who's coming up. I know. Also, also, too, when you you know when we have the show, and if you don't see the tweet or you don't go to the website or something happens, you don't have the number with you. Anytime you want to call in and speak to one of our guests, you just dial one seven one eight five zero six one five four zero and press one, so that way we know to pick up your call. A lot of people will just call in to listen to the show, and they don't press one, so we don't pick up the call. 
So I just wanted to let you all know that. Mm-hmm. And try to call before the show starts. If it starts at uh, 